This week at the Theme Park Bar, we're busting our blinky cups and blasting some synthwave as we revisit Halloween Horror Nights 29 from my favorite cocktail from the event, the Saturn. Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome to Theme Park Bar. I am a career bartender and an Orlando native who wants to show you how to make the best signature drinks from around the world and across the universe. Here at Theme Park Bar, we know that the best attractions are the ones served in a glass. Neon bright and colorful, easy to consume, but still highly flavorful, the Saturn perfectly sums up the feeling of Halloween Horror Nights 29. The Saturn, an award-winning tiki cocktail from the 1960s, was revamped by Universal Orlando to be the perfect drink to enjoy while navigating streets infested with zombies, attending a killer fashion show, or digging through ditches and burning through witches. Halloween Horror Nights is fast approaching its 30th year, and I can't wait to see what they have in store. I first started attending Horror Nights back in 1999, and I've been hooked ever since. The excitement and joy that comes from chainsaw noises is really something that can't be met. One of my favorite things to do at Horror Nights is to get a couple of drinks and grab a bench and hang out in the scare zones for a while. Actually, there was more than one night where my girlfriend and I would head to Horror Nights 29, grab a couple of Saturns, and just watch Marathon and Mayhem and head home. Maybe playing a little bit of that fun trivia game along the way. What is a Saturn? The Saturn is a tiki cocktail that features gin and passion fruit puree. It was invented by Jay Popol Galzini, who actually won the 1967 International Bartenders Association World Championship for the drink. The classic version, invented by Galzini, is a true tiki cocktail. It's packed with tropical flavors, it's high proof, and it's meant to be sipped leisurely in a well-decorated lounge. Universal's version is fantastic, and is, but it's designed to be a little bit more casual. It swaps out passion fruit puree for passion fruit juice, which makes it easier to sip outside on muggy Florida nights. And here's what you're going to need. Two ounces of gin, half an ounce of velvet flarinum, half an ounce of orgette, the juice of one lemon, and three ounces of passion fruit juice. Velvet flarinum is a tiki drink staple. It's a product of Barbados and is a rum-based liqueur. It's going to be infused with almonds, ginger, lime, and clove. Just a splash of this will turn anything into a tiki drink. All right, of course, to get this drink started, you're gonna need to fill your mixing glass full of ice. We'll start off with our two ounces of gin. To that, we add our half ounce of velvet flarinum. Half an ounce of orgette. Orgette is an almond syrup, very easy to make at home. I'm just using some store-bought stuff. I'll leave a link down below for you. And add our three ounces of passion fruit juice. And to that, we're gonna add the juice of one lemon. Each lemon should give you about one ounce of juice. Fill her up real good and shake her vigorously. Pull up your blinky cup of choice and pour her in. And there it is, the Saturn cocktail from Halloween Horror Nights 29, but hold on, something doesn't seem right. There we go. Now it's Halloween Horror Nights. Let's give this bad boy a taste. Oh, oh, that takes me back. That's so good. You get the compact, the unexpected complexity of flavors from the gin, not being the sugar bomb of most tiki drinks having rum. Mm. You can taste the ginger and the lime from the floor net. The orgette giving you that nutty almond flavor. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Oh, I love the Saturn cocktail. This is Halloween Horror Nights 29 in my hands right here, guys. Hey guys, thank you for joining me again this week at Theme Park Bar. And a very special thank you to my good friends over at Haunt Vault for providing this week's recipe. 
If you haven't done so already, become one of my bar regulars by subscribing to the channel and let me know down in the comments below what drinks you'd like to see recreated here. Perhaps a few more spooky concoctions? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram over at Theme Park Bar or usually hanging out somewhere on the Haunt Vault Discord server, which I'll link below. Remember when you go out to always be safe and to drink responsibly and never forget to tip your bartenders. Now, excuse me, I'm going to go sip on this and this and rewatch Marathon of Mayhem again. Cheers, guys. Oh, oh I love you so much. Oh.